Hello and welcome to lesson 6.1, Equations of a Line. So today we're going to actually take a look at uh, various different equations of lines that we can see using various different properties of vectors. So to start off, we're going to describe what is called a vector equation and a parametric equation. So off to the right you see a vector, sorry, a line that I've drawn here in red, and i placed arrows on the end of it. Now any vector x, y along this line right here. So let me draw one specific vector. Can be described by taking the starting value, whatever the starting vector might be. Let's say this is my starting vector right here. So we'll call this x subscript 0 and y subscript 0. And adding any multiple of the vector a, b. So this might be my vector a, b right here. And as you can see, if I multiply by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 there, I can actually get to that value x, y. So this creates what is called our vector equation. So our vector equation can be given by r, or xy, is equal to x subscript 0, y subscript 0, plus some scalar multiple of ab, where t is some real number. And these values of x sub 0, y sub 0, a, and b are also real numbers. Or what you can have is your parametric equation. Or equations, which separates the x components and the y components. So x could equal x subscript 0 plus some scalar multiple of a, and y is equal to y subscript 0 plus some scalar multiple of b. Okay, and there we go. So let's see how we can use this. So let's suppose we have a line that passes through the points 2, negative 3, and negative 1, 5. What we're going to start out by doing is determining the vector and parametric equations of this line. We're then going to determine if the point 4, negative 11 exists on the line, and find any intercepts on this line. So for our first part, all you need is a direction. So a directional vector can be taken by actually working out LM, or if you wish, ML. So if I did take LM, I'd be looking at negative 1, 5, and subtracting 2, negative 3. So I get the vector negative 3, 8. So the vector equation for this line could be various different ones. You can choose whatever starting point you want. So I can start with 2, negative 3 if I want, plus some scalar multiple of the vector, negative 3, 8. So please realize there are multiple solutions that you can have here, and therefore your parametric equations would be 2 minus 3t, and y equals negative 3 plus 8t. Okay, so to find out if the point negative 4 and negative 11 exists on a line, you must see if the value of t actually exists to be the same value in both equations. So in both parametric equations, or if you want, in the vector equation to solve. I think it might be easier in the parametric equations. So negative 4 equals 2 minus 3t. I solve for t. So t equals 2 in the first equation. And 
and t equals negative 1 in the second equation. Since these two values are not the same, that t value does not exist, and therefore that point doesn't exist. So therefore, negative 4 and negative 11 is not on the line. Okay, so, last part. Let's find intercepts of this line if they exist. Well, in order for an intercept to exist, your x value has to equal 0, and you have to figure out your y value. So in that case, the t value would be 2 thirds. So, if your y intercept, because your x value is 0, So one intercept is at zero and seven thirds. The other intercept, now we let y equal zero. into our x equation. So there are our for our x intercept is seven over eight and zero. Okay, so that's how you do these problems. So that means if the equation exists, or is possible, you might actually have multiple representations meaning the same line. So let's take a look at the, these two lines. This first line has a directional vector of negative 2, 6. The second line has a directional vector of 1, negative 3. These ones are collinear, meaning that these two lines are not necessarily the same line, but they could be parallel. So, therefore, these two lines are either the same or parallel. Now, to just verify if they're the same. Well, if they're the same, that means this starting point would fit on the second equation. Or, the second point could fit on the first line. So, I'm going to list this as line 1, and the second one is line 2. So, my parametric equations... of line 2 are x equals 5 plus t and y equals negative 4 minus 3t. So as we've seen already, we can just verify whether or not the point actually exists on the plane. That's right on the line. So 1, I'm going to substitute 1 in for x and 3 in for y and see if the values turn out to be the same. So, as you can see again, these two values of t do not turn out to be the same value, therefore, the lines are parallel. Not the same. Okay. 
So, as we've seen in grade 9, there is another type of equation for a line. In grade 9, it was called standard form, but it, right now it can be also called scalar equation or a Cartesian equation. So a Cartesian equation is of the form a times x plus b times y plus c equal to 0. Where a and b turns out to be the normal vector with x subscript y, x subscript 0 and y subscript 0 as a point on the line, where a times x subscript 0 plus b times y subscript 0 multiplied all by negative 1 is equal to the value c. Now what I mean by a normal vector, let me draw a line here. So if we have a directional vector right here, of the vector little a, little b, a normal vector is a vector that is orthogonal or perpendicular to that line. with direction A, B, capitals. Well, because what we know about these two vectors being perpendicular to each other or orthogonal, notice the capital A, B dotted with lowercase a, B will equal zero. Okay. So let's see how we can come up with a scalar equation of a straight line with that sort of points 1, negative 2, negative 3, and 4. So again, find out your directional vector first. So again, it doesn't matter which order you subtract these two in. Okay, so to find a normal, a dot product of 4 and negative 6, and 6 and 4 would work out. So, that means our capital A and capital B are 6 and 4. So start out by writing 6x plus 4y plus unknown value is equal to 0. We'll call that unknown value C. We substitute any point we wish into our expression. Doesn't matter which point we choose. And we solve for C. Therefore, our equation would either be 6x plus 4y plus 2 equals 0. Now, something about uh, standard form or scalar form or Cartesian form that you may not remember from grade 9 is that they always have to be reduced to the lowest terms, and the first number must not be a negative. It must always be a positive. Okay. So these are equations of lines in two-dimensional space. There are also equations of lines in three-dimensional space. Just like in two-dimensional space, uh, there are vector and parametric equations. However, there is no scalar equation. So a vector equation is very similar. You'll need a direction, and you still need a starting reference point. vector equation and our parametric equations
might be some more. But in this case, you have three of them. And again, for a point to exist on the plane, or sorry, on the line, all three values of t have to be the same. So realize there are, is no scalar equation. of a line in three space. There are other formats of lines that uh, some tutors may go over with you or you may see online, but we're only going to be investigating vector, parametric, and possibly scalar. Okay, so let's say we have a line that goes through the point 2, 2, 2, and 1, 0, negative 1. We want to define vector and parametric equations for this line, and then determine if the point negative 3, negative 8, and negative 13 lies on this line. Okay, so again, we need a direction. All we need to do is subtract one vector from the other one. your vector form using whatever reference point you want and some scalar multiple of the directional vector and your parametric equations So again, in order for a point to lie on this plane, or sorry, on the line, it has to have all the t values being the same. So let's verify and see if this value of negative 3, negative 8, negative 13 lies on this line. So first value is negative 5. Second value is negative 5. Ooh, math teachers are tricky this way. So be careful. So all t values are the same, therefore negative 3, negative 8, and negative 13 is a point on this line. And therefore, we've concluded this lesson.